subscribe our YouTube channel. All you need to know about sebaceous cysts to cure yourself sebaceous cysts, it is also known as an epidermoid cyst, which develops from the skin, or a pilar cyst, which occurs due to hair follicles. Don't feel yourself being cursed because you have cysts, however, most people will have a cyst at a certain age in their whole life. Thus, you're not the only one. Let's dig deeper and know more about sebaceous cysts and sebaceous cyst treatments. Basically, there are three common types of skin cysts, which are An epidermoid cyst is a set of the fluid-filled sac which can be formed by cells of the skin surface. Killer cyst is the cyst in which the lining is made of, of hair roots cells. And Sebaceous cysts they are less common having sacs filled with oil while other skin cysts do not have oil filled sacs. How can one identify sebaceous cysts? The skin portion looks different than other skin parts. It is a nodule, the dome shaped, raised area on the skin. One odd thing is, the cyst and the area of skin around the cyst can be moved like normal skin as cysts are not fixed to anything with the skin. Normally, skin cyst is flesh colored, but they can have yellowish or widening fluid into it. All the skin cysts look similar whether they are lined with skin surface cells or with root hair cells. You can have an idea through their size which can be around 1 to 5 centimeters across, you can say it as a piece size. Well, it's all about cysts visual appearance but what about symptoms which can help you in defining whether it is a cyst or something else? symptoms mostly, they don't cause any trouble rather than their annoying look and unattractive contents. Cysts which occur on the scalp can be trapped by a brush or comb. They can be painful while getting infected. How do you get it? Skin cysts are formed by multiplying cells moving inside rather than moving to the surface and shed away as mostly skin cells do. Normally, skin is made up of two layers. The topmost layer is the epidermis, and the outermost of this is where skin cells push up dead ones and shed away. Why any medical person can't fully identify cysts? Because, in some cases, it can occur due to genetics. Now, let's move towards the treatment side. Treatment Some of us may try home remedies like squeezing them or picking them. But, squeezing can cause to rupture, become inflamed and get infected. Although, picking or rubbing a cyst can cause damage and make the infection worse. It can also make your overall appearance worse. Thus, it is always recommended not to treat them yourselves. Rather you should approach a perfect dermatologist who can cure them properly. One and only one home treatment of cysts is, to keep infected ones clean. It is recommended by dermatologist to keep the area clean and hygienic. You can use cotton wool, medical dressing material or clean cloth to keep the area clean. This all can be done to keep the cyst uninfected to other body parts. Otherwise, it can damage other body parts too. So, be careful while treating the cyst. Closer margin hence, all the above guidelines are meant to spread awareness about sebaceous cysts and how can you get rid of it. Learn from the article and share the guidance to your friends or people affected with cysts. Let's help them to come out from this cyst which looks like stains on the moon. Stay beautiful and healthy. Subscribe our YouTube channel.